Welcome to Lifestyle with Neeraj. Indians are becoming westernized in almost every aspect of life from luxury cars, brand name clothing, home decor, and in the overall way of life. Yet there is one thing that has not changed. I find it very troubling to see that we are probably the largest ethnic group that continues to use our bare hands to eat. I often hear arguments that this is traditional or the food is more enjoyable. I feel that this is more a matter of acquired habits and like all habits, they can be modified. Imagine professionals attending a meeting at an upscale venue, wearing fine clothing, resorting to their hands for the meal. Fortunately, Indian food is quite amenable to the use of cutlery. This is in contrast to eating Chinese food with chopsticks, a skill that I have not been able to master. Clearly, some modifications and adaptations are going to be necessary. Let us go through my approach. Traditionally, when we set the table, we place a dinner fork and knife along with one or more spoons, a salad fork with each plate. I find this setting does not work seamlessly with the Indian food. So let us see what we can do. Let us start with a traditional meal of dal, roti and sabzi. In other words, a lentil soup, flatbread and sorted mixed vegetables. Right away, I discovered that the dinner like knife that comes with a lot of flatware cannot cut flatbread. Instead, a steak knife works much better. A steak knife has a sharp serrated end for cutting. You will have to ask for one when eating at a restaurant. I wouldn't be surprised if they do not have one. Clearly, restaurants are going to have to provide them when there is enough demand. If you asked me which side the extra steak knife should be placed, I wouldn't be able to answer that. My purpose is not to be technical about the whole act of eating, but simply to promote decorum as you enjoy your meal. In fact, I believe you will actually enjoy your meal if you eat with grace. I'm using a serrated dinner knife to cut the flatbread. After cutting a bite-sized part of the flatbread, you have several choices. The simplest is to eat the bread and then use your spoon for the lentil soup. You may dip the bread into the soup as many people prefer and then follow with a spoonful. I should add that the spoon that you should use is the larger so-called tablespoon and not a teaspoon. The vegetable dish can be taken with your dinner fork. Finally, the dessert can be eaten with a dedicated dessert fork. The traditional way of using the dinner fork is with the left hand. However, the more modern approach is to use it with your dominant or right hand. Again, I will leave this for you to decide. You will also have to improvise if you are sitting down to a plate of rice. I tend to use a dinner fork, but you may prefer a spoon. Some people will get a scoop of rice into their spoon and then dip it into the lentil soup, which is probably the easiest method. I use the spoon to pour the lentil soup onto the rice and then use the dinner fork to eat the rice with. Once you decide to use this format, it will quickly become habitual and you will enjoy the feeling of having clean hands when your meal is finished. I believe this approach is also more sanitary and may reduce the number of common infections that one gets. I hope that I have given you some ideas to chew upon and that you will consider my approach the next time you sit down to enjoy your meal. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe. I hope you found this video informative.